All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a problem here that is fairly common if you have a well. If you take a close look right here, you can see that this relief valve obviously is leaking, and that's not good. And this is very new, and it shouldn't be leaking. And it's something you want to take care of, and it's actually pretty easy. So what I'm going to tell you to do is how to do this the right way. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the back of the well tank and we're going to switch our well power off. Most important thing to do, and I'd even recommend that you do it on the breaker. The second thing that you got to take notice of is you can see the pressure right here is at 50 pounds. If I were to start messing with all this, this water will come flying off. So the few things I'm going to do is one, I'm going to switch this valve right here and this feeds up all the way up into the rest of the house and that's how the rest of the house gets water. So the first thing I'm going to do is shut this off to the house and I've got the power off now so I don't have to worry about the electricity. The next thing I've got to do is get this pressure out of here. So I've got my handy dandy hose going out to a drain. I'm going to screw this in and what's going to happen is now that I've got the power off, as soon as I crack this valve right here, you're going to watch this pressure go down. You hear the water coming out. And it takes a little bit. I'm going to crack that open all the way. The hose is going out and the water is draining. And if you watch that, you're going to see the pressure is going. And this valve is still leaking. So the next thing, while we're waiting for this pressure to come out, is I've got a replacement valve. And the thing you've got to watch out for is on these valves, and you can get these at Lowe's, this is from Lowe's, I paid about 15 bucks for it, is they come in different sizes. This is a three quarter inch valve, and three quarters is the dimension from here to here. There's basically two sizes, half inch and three quarter. Biggest thing you got to do is get the size that's going to fit. You can buy them both and be ready for either one, but generally you got to find three quarter inch, but some wells do have half inch. So this is the three quarter. So as you can see, the pressure's going down and you're going to see at the end, it's going to go really fast and it's going to, the pressure's just going to be out and that's when we'll know it's safe that we can start doing our next step. So while this is going, some of the tools you're going to want, oh, just went down to zero. So you can see that now. A wrench is a good thing, obviously. Can use a nicer wrench like this but let's take a look at what we got so first thing we're going to do now that this is drained and this little tray is really handy it fits right under here and it catches all the water so i'm going to unscrew this just to get this out of the way and a little bit of water coming out that's all fine again the biggest thing is pressure's got to be on zero power's got to be off and this is your little box that carries the electricity to your pump power's off House water's off if you have a valve here. If you don't, just drain it and pressure's at zero. So once that's done, we're gonna need to take this off. Now, in this situation, I have a few things in the way here, so it may not be a piece of cake, but we'll work it out. So I'm gonna see if I can get in here with a wrench. Let's see if we can do this. So before I even turn this, I wanna teach you another lesson. If I were to just put this wrench on here, right there, squeeze it on, start twisting. What's going to happen is as I pull, this entire thing is going to want to flex up. And when you do that, you can tear the pipe in the back here off. You can break your fittings off. You can do all sorts of bad things. So the biggest thing you always have to do in plumbing is when you're holding on to one piece, you got to use something else to brace the rest so that you're countering the force. So if I'm pushing the wrench this way to loosen it, I'm going to be holding this section here so that the whole thing won't twist. So let's see if we can break this. Whoop. Make sure it's coming out fairly easy. So we're going to twist that and again loosens to the left. Let's see if we can grip it here. Okay. I'm going to loosen this guy off. And again, when you're working with water, biggest thing is no pressure. You don't want any pressure blasting you. Getting water in your house is no fun. So there's always going to be water like that in there. Nothing to worry about. And this was a very new valve. And I had just recently replaced this. So sometimes you get a bum one. Things break. They're not particularly expensive. And to be honest, they're not worth fixing it. Because if they go bad and it blows water all over your basement, you can be in a world of hurt. 
So now that this is off, let's move to the next step. So we got a new one here. You don't just go put it in, you gotta put something on it. And I'm gonna show you what I recommend. This is this. Guys are gonna tell you to put dope on it. You're gonna put dope, you're gonna put chemicals, you're gonna put all kinds of stuff. This stuff has been around for like 50 years. It's safe for potable water, which means you can use it on your drinking water lines. I use it for heat, I use it for plumbing, I use it for drinking water. Use it for exactly what it says in the package and you'll be fine. This stuff's been around forever. Everything I do with it never leaks. This piece right here did not leak from where I put it in. It leaked from the valve itself, so it had nothing to do with the sealant. So in my book, I don't mess around with a lot of Teflon tape. Biggest thing with this stuff is, stir it up. Just mix it up pretty good. And because I'm not really a plumber, I take a lot more time in these things than a real plumber probably would. And that's fine. Everybody does their own thing. So what I like to do is a little brush on here. We'll spread it around. The biggest thing that I always have a pet peeve about is that when a lot of people do this, they slather it on, they get it all over the valve. And then what happens is you don't want to be getting this stuff inside. So it pays to take a look a lot. Before you put it together, you want to look at this edge. I don't want anything getting past this edge. Maybe it doesn't matter. And again, I'm not a plumber. So, you know, maybe it doesn't make a difference, but for me it does. So the next thing, once this stuff is on here and it's covered it pretty smoothly, you're going to put it back in. Always start your thread slow because if they don't catch right, you can mess them up. So always start it by hand and you can see this is already starting to tighten up. So the next thing I'm going to have to deal with is to get this connection tight. I don't go berserk with tightening these, but I also don't like leaving them loose either. This is a pretty interesting set of wrenches made by a company called Nipex, made in Germany. I don't know that it matters. I like them. They're pretty adjustable, and I like it because they can fit in kind of funny situations. So when you put this in, you don't just tighten this just a little bit in any which way. you got to go around a couple of times, and typically... You're gonna know you've, you're right. And again, I'm holding on to this, so as I tight, get tight, tighter, I'm not gonna have my plumbing start to come up. So, so far it's fairly easy, but I'm gonna guess that I need about one more time to go around. So, and again, you don't wanna damage this end, you don't wanna hit anything else, and you don't wanna tear your plumbing. So again, you're gonna, if my wrench is going this way, I'm gonna put my force down this way. So this thing's getting pretty, Good. And with these valves, it is important, I think, that they point down. You certainly wouldn't want to point them up. So it would spray water everywhere. So what I'm going to do, I think that's actually pretty good. So again, I'm not a plumber, and maybe it doesn't matter. This kind of stuff bugs me. I like to clean it up a little bit. I got a little microfiber cloth. So what we're going to do, we're going to wipe this up. And I don't think I'm going to have a problem with this new one. I truly think this other valve was just a bad one from the factory. So let's clean this up a little bit and see what we got. So I'm going to put the old one out of the way, get my tools out of the way. All right, let's see what we got. So the next thing we got to realize is this is in. Everything's ready to go. So now we're going to reverse what we've done. One thing I like to do is I could certainly put the power back on and let the water run back to the house. Because this is a drinking water, it's a bathing water, it's important, I think, to just make sure all the debris is out. So what I like to do before I pressurize this whole thing is I'm going to put the hose back on, tighten that up. This valve is now open. This is just a what they call a quarter turn valve. Let's see what we got. I'm going to go back. Next thing I'm going to do is hit the well power right here. You turn that on. You can hear it. And watch this. So already air starting to come out of the tank now your setup might be a little bit different most houses do have a valve right after what they call the well tee which is right here what i like to do is this water right now is coming in from my pump going through this check valve into the tee and i'm letting it flush everything out my water is going over there so i'm going to let this run through already it's probably good because i don't see any leaks coming out here you should not have water coming out here if you had one drip, yeah, you can live with it. But if you have any sort of a drip, I go to people's houses, all this stuff's corroded. 
it shouldn't look like that. And it's an accident waiting to happen in my book. So I recommend do following my steps. You know, what you do might be different for your situation, but these, this is a pretty typical style setup in New England for all the places I've lived in. They typically look just like this. So what's happening now is the pressure is going up, but it's not getting up enough yet because I've got so much water coming out of this valve. So at this point now, I'm gonna slowly close this and I'm gonna let this build up for a minute. And the way this switch is, it's set up so that when it reaches a certain amount of pressure, it cuts off. So we'll wait and see this go up. And the good thing is I don't see any water coming out of this valve and you shouldn't. And that's exactly what it should be doing with the joint cleaned up with a little rag and we're pretty much almost good to go. So this is gonna build up right now. What this is doing is water's coming in and it's filling the tank up. And this valve, since I didn't talk about it, the purpose of this is a safety valve. You could take it off and do what you want. That is not the way to do it. It's not legal. It's not even a smart idea because if you, this valve is designed that if something goes wrong with this switch and this tank starts to inflate like it's a volcano, the thing can literally blow up when it hits a certain pressure. This is designed to let the pressure out before that happens. So it really needs to be there. So my advice is, it's 12 bucks. You can do it in less than 10 minutes. You want it to be right. And again, it is your water for your house, so it's well worth it. And if you're in a well, spending a few bucks for a part here and there certainly beats paying for town water. So you're going to watch this now. This pressurizes. It looks like it stopped about 55 Um I think my gauge might be off a little bit, I think, but it is designed to stop at 60 PSI. So at this point, we got everything in there. This is closed. I can take my hose off since I don't need it. And I'm just going to hold it up so that that way the water drains out and doesn't spill all over the floor. And at this point, I'm going to open this and that's going back to feed the house. And we're done. Thanks for watching.